What's going on guys and welcome back to some more paper Mario in the last part We did a we did all the we did a lot of the remaining side quests like we did all the Koopa main Koopa Koop favors and we did a boss and we did uh We did the, some of the remaining KC recipes and this part um, we're going to uh, get this right here. You can actually do this earlier as early as when you get lackluster in your party You just have to, to wait a bit, but there's more of these enemies, but uh, we've already fought these enemies So there's not really there's not really and They only gave two star points very lame, but um No, there's there's more enemies. We already saw but uh, I'm just gonna do a quick badge readjustment um, Going to uh Rid of FP plus and get get back Mega Quake. I need for some of Chapter Seven too. Now, if we go over here, we can actually do this as early as when we get lackluster in our party. But if we go here, we get the Ultra Boots. The attack of Mario's bone jump increases. On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump, pressing A while getting in the air. So yeah, this is essentially this is the strongest jump attack in the whole game. And there's a hidden block, but uh, I just want to avoid a battle. There's a life storm in that hidden block, but um, I want to avoid some battles because we've already we've already fought a good majority of the enemies in this game. Like even the ones that show up in chapter eight are just repeat the ones we fought in chapter four. And we're actually almost at chapter seven, but uh. By the way, I said in a, I said in two different parts that chapter six is my least favorite chapter in the whole game. Chapter seven's my favorite. Like it's, I love the atmosphere of chapter seven. I love the music. I love all the music that plays in chapter seven. And like, it's just a beautifully designed chapter. So like, um, we're just gonna go here first, actually. Um, This is a really cheap way to get back to Toe Town. If we, this is Rip Cheeto. Now, um, we got a star piece, and, um, and we got a life from, but I have to get more coins. But if you're the, um, I think it's the first, third, fifth, and tenth. I think you can get four star pieces from this guy, but, um, once you got the fourth star piece, the remaining will be dried shrooms. So, um, I'm just gonna go to Toe Town and do that good old save state trick to get more coins. So, um, I already showed this, but uh, you can just uh, do a do a little safe state right here. Um, nine block option. So um, uh, we'll see what we do. So uh, we're gonna create a suspend. Oh. Alright, where's the other Bowser? Oh my god, I didn't even get the other Bowser. 662 coins. That'll be enough to get the, uh... That'll be enough to get the, uh... Remaining star piece from Rip Cheeto. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, if you if you take that shortcut in Toe Town, we'll also be able to, um... We'll be able to just access the... Uh, that's another access to Toe Town Palace. There also it's a quick way to get to Shiver City. But we're just gonna do these. Um, we get the bump attack badge and uh, full gel, star piece, super shrum, mushroom, dried shrum, dried shrum, and um. Star piece. I think that's the last of star piece we can get. Um, I just have to double check. Yeah, it's the last of star piece we can get from Rip Cheeto. Uh, so it's the uh, first, fifth, and tenth purchases are the uh, star pieces. But uh, we're just gonna get rid of these dried shrimps because we're in mushrooms. Because we really don't need them. We got a repel gel, which is very solid. Look at all these life shrimps we have. Like we might need every last one. We might. We might have to be in a very good position. We're probably never gonna game over. <laughs> but anyway, 
I guess now we can actually go towards Shiver City because we're only one room away. If you never, by the way, that blue door. If you never see Merlon, if you never see Merlon, uh, that door will be locked on the other side. So I uh, just be a little careful. Now it's open. Anyway, so this is the second to last super block in the game. So I think I'm gonna ultra Goombario. Goombario, believe it or not, is really overpowered when he's ultra rank because you can do the same char- He, he learns multi-block, so you can just charge and multi-block and just- It's essentially like jump- It's essentially like jump charge and a uh, power bounce. But anyway... Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, um... I guess we can now, um... There's one uh, thing I want to do. Um, if we go over here, um, if we take this nap, every time we take a nap in this house, we get potatoes. And we just get an infinite one of them. There's there's two of them we need for tasty recipes, so we'll go back for those. But um, We're just gonna put them both in the shop that's over here, but uh, yeah, I love this music, by the way. Take a listen. Like I said, chapter seven is my favorite chapter in the whole game. I love all the sa the songs that play it, and I love the atmosphere. It's like um, a very beautiful chapter. But anyway, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the two ice potatoes in there, but um. These will, these will be later used for tasty recipes, but, um... Anyway, so I think there's also a star piece, and there's also a badge we need to get, but, uh... There's a, a lot of the star... There are a lot of star pieces and badges, um... See, we... Let's just say we... Believe it or not, we only have 26 more star pieces left to get in this game. We're approaching the end. We're approaching the end of Paper Mario, unfortunately. I had a lot of fun doing this playthrough. Like, I was initially skeptical about playing Paper Mario on this channel due to uh, kind of the games having gone downhill in recent years. And on top of that, this game kind of being a little overdone on the internet. But I was having an absolute blast because I played this game a ton as a kid. But anyway, we get the Attack FXE badge we go over here, which is the last Attack FXE badge. We're going to stack all these up. See if we can get the attack. Yeah, it's a, a Yoshi sound effect, believe it or not. Now, there's one more scene I want to show in uh, Shiver City. And one more scene I want to show in Shiver City. Just, um... Fuck these girls. What do you hear about Shiver City? I see this one thing coming to mind. Well, skiing's nice, too, but we're not, we're not when a monster's loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skiing is where we go. Yeah, yeah. Try to, um... What are you doing? Stop that. If you lost your wits, wait for the ice breaks. And if you do it again... No, are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that. That's really dangerous. He's just gonna throw us out. Don't you ever listen. We are a public nuisance. Take a hike. Unlike the flower, however, we can return there. So, um... What if we talk with him normally? I'm a city guard around here. I'm investing in a report of a specific Yakuman around the city. You, you're not him, are you? Anyway, so we were told to... I think we were told... Oh, Chuck Wismo! And the question is, what is the name of the elderly man who tells fortune? Turned out to be Merlon. We only have 15 more Chuck Wisdom of quizzes left throughout the game. Like I said, we're approaching the end. This game, this chapter also has an approaching the end type feel to it. It's like you're just about to hit the finish line, which is saving all the star spirits. But this woman. Oh, we have a guest to open your apartment. You're so please in. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a name in his hand. This is Herringway. 
Darlene, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm. Oh dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. No! Help, somebody, anybody, my husband is dead, he's been murdered. It's a penguin murder mystery. What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his slippers. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered. It's like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But, madam, my mayor asks, when are we going to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there, the man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in, the husband just barged in. My husband was alive right until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey you, mustache, are you listening? The, this woman's a clue to use. What do you say to yourself? Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I uh, saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came in this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking with your story, you're claiming you're not the culprit. Moyo didn't do it, he's obviously innocent. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, you're dealing with the backroom murder case, so I never trained for this. A backroom murder case, a high rank of penguin slang. He could, who, how can such a horrible plot twist such a he, 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 peaceful city? You, Mr. Murder, sir, want the more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. That's perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you're claiming you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. All right, off with you. You have proved that you're innocent yet, uh, so I must forbid you to leave the city. Yeah, so we can not leave Shiva City. We, we can't even get that star piece, because if we talk to them, Mayor Peng was murdered in the back room and no one was like the slightest who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in one of Harry mystery novels. I guess there's terrible thing happened to the people, but we did the thing. The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. He seems to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who has a huge hammer. Bro, how terrifying. Just going to show you that you should never trust your first impression of people. Anyway, so, um, yeah. If we try to leave Shiver City, you better trust the evidence you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't leave the city. I won't leave both of them on a story. Hey, Susan, are you trying to move me? I'm maybe too rude? Sorry. We can't even buy items, because if we go here... Look, I'm not selling anything to Mayor Penguin's killer. Get out of here, will you? Now we can actually... Now we can actually break the ice, but first we need to switch to sushi. We have the warehouse key, which, uh, now, I want to see what those, uh, girls have, those toad girls have to say now we broke the ice. Ah, uh, the ice on the lake broke. We were just about to go ice skating. No, this is totally unfair. I was still looking forward to sk skating all day long. We use the warehouse key and, uh, we can go in there now. There and down the roof, down the chimney. What in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through my chimney. Indeed, ingenious. Me, I'm Harryway, the novelist. Have you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect. You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I didn't know such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears though I should drop at the mayor's house. Engage stairs. All right then, well, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. You now we just have to fall Harry way over to the mayor's house and uh, apparently he's gonna be a uh, witness.
There's Harry. Some way beats us over there, but um. Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm. So is that Penguin Brian in the mystery novel writing named Herring Way? What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herring Way written on it. Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm, it definitely doesn't appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yeah, of course, a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herring Way, you cold hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novel is so exciting and suspenseful. You live out of your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes, you were good friends. Aha, uh -huh, but that was just a cover so that no one would soak you a heinous crime. That's it, that isn't it. I've solved the crossing mystery. Oh, come on, really? You're a simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working on my house with no my no new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I just like to see that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm, this penguin is getting more intrigued all the time. Look at it, he's gonna wake up. Uh. Oh, my aching ouch. Hey! My husband returned, he's a goosey! Oh, good gracious, hello everyone. What's going on here? What, what, Mayor? We thought we, we thought you were dead. Our back were murder mystery, we were wash. What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get the souvenir for Herring Way. Yes, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. That's what happened. Here you are, Herring Way. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting stuff. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbish sales down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, well, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes. So sorry. Ah, I thought it was rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything is okay now. The Mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason, I always end up with causing a ruckus. Hello, sorry about all of that. I must apologize. Hey, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to San Francisco, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to the Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to lie you out of the city. You better bumble up. Ugh, I knew you were innocent all, uh, I knew you were innocent all the time. A back from murder case? Please, I can please say. But always zealous guard must have been read too many mystery novels, haha, <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so I guess we can cut it off for this part of Paper Mario. So, next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna go to Starborn Valley. See you guys then.